<laughs> hey there simplifiers welcome to this lovely day in central ohio we are on day number nine of the savvy sexy social video every day in august and we're also to letter h which is for home and habits you will hear organizers talk about homes a lot give an item a home put it away in its home and you'll always be able to find it. I'm sure you've heard me say it. So today I'm going to show you some of the homes that I have established in my home and the habits that I'm trying to instill in my family so we always know where things are. So come on in. These are our coat and bag hooks just inside of our front door. I put these up so that there's a place for my husband's work bag and my purse. And then down here you'll see smaller ones or shorter ones that are for my kids' bags and lunch boxes and coats. The boys each have two because they have a lot more stuff than my husband and I have and they can't reach the um, hang bar in the closet. Below that we have our shoe tray, which <laughs> They almost get the shoes in, and look, I'm just as guilty as they are of not getting it there. It looks like it needs to be cleaned out a little bit. We've got some over here on the floor. It's close, but again, just establishing the idea that you come in the house, you take your shoes off, you put them there, so the next time you need your shoes, they are there and ready for you. Dog, of course, has a home in the dog bed. We keep our library books underneath our coffee table. I don't like to mix them in with the regular books on the bookshelf because I'm afraid I won't be able to find them when we need to take them back. And I like to keep them close to the door because I'm usually running out the door when I remember that we have library books that are due so that way I can just grab them up and throw them in my bag and head out the door and get them back to the library in a timely manner. We don't keep a lot of toys in our main living space, but the ones that we do go in these little bins down here, and we have them sorted pretty simply. We have things with motors, things with heartbeats, and other things. And that's sort of all the toys that we keep down here. We do have a couple of things on the shelves, and you can see some books and stuff, but for the most part, that is all the toys and books that we keep on this main living level. But the kids know that vehicles go with vehicles, animals go with animals, and then everything else kind of ends up in there. This is my family command center here, but the most important part of this is this little hook right here. I lose my keys all the time if I don't have a place to put them. Also, my husband likes to use this space right here to put his wallet and his sunglasses. He's currently not here, so that is um, why it's not there. And I also keep a little grocery list right here that's sort of ongoing things that I need to grab at the grocery store. That way I know where it is when I need to, again, run out the door and uh, grab it. So there you have it, homes for items within my home that help me and my family to establish the habit of putting things away and finding them the next time that we need it. Now we have to work on the idea that everyone has the same idea of where that home is, but we'll get there. Thanks for watching and be sure and comment below if there's an item in your home that needs a home, but you're struggling with where that should be. I'd be happy to help you out as much as I can. And also be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my organizing ABCs and stop back by tomorrow where we will be talking about inches, not miles.